the experience of both loss in my own life and working in hospice. Uh, one of the greatest gifts has been an ability to understand that things are impermanent and things are constantly changing. My name is Carlisle Coash. I was born on February 12, 1968. For various reasons, I got uh, drawn into working as a spiritual counselor in hospice, and I did that for about 18 years. Uh, I specialized in pediatrics, so I worked specifically with kids at end of life. When my uh, mother was sick, about a month before she died, she had sent everyone in our family a book called The Tibetan Book of Living and Dying. I think it was a way for my mom to kind of get the subject started and sort of say to us, look, I am not going to be living much longer. This is a way for us to have time together if we're willing to do that. It was the first time I really read something where I thought, I need to be paying attention to this. It brought a lot of clarity, created a bit of a shift for me, so I wound up going back to school, uh, researched some of the programs, and the Buddhist Studies program really seemed to call to me, especially the socially engaged Buddhism. I think we have things in our lives that just speak to us in a very clear way, without a lot of effort, and Buddhist tradition has just always done that. Ultimately, it's trying to generate a peaceful world and a world without suffering, which I think we could use that as much as possible. For whatever reason, just drawn people who are in crisis or who are working through something, there's a way in which I think Buddhist practice for me is very practical and really helps people work with uh, both the joy and the challenge in our life. I'm actually also teaching a class right now, a regular class for a Buddhist group in Los Angeles, so I continue to teach and write about this, and it's just sort of part of my life. I'm about to turn 50, so, uh, you know, I assume I have a few more years on this planet, so I want to be able to make sure I'm connected to what's passionate for myself. I think about death every day. For me, it's actually very empowering and very positive. I can be stuck in a place of being upset or angry or things aren't going my way today, and yet at the same time, this might be the last day I have here. There's a way in which that kind of contemplation helps you just drop all the stuff that's not worth holding on to. Happy birthday to everyone born on February 12th. Thank you for watching. We're uploading an episode every single day featuring a different person. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate your support.